Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about Angular component lifecycle hook and it is a very common interview questions. So let us start that execution. Uh, it begins with the constructor, but this constructor is a uh, not a part of component lifecycle hook. It is a part of TypeScript class. Then component lifecycle uh, get starts from ng on change. So this is executed whenever uh, there is a change in the input data bound property. And the next is uh, ng on in it. It get executed whenever that component is getting initialized. After that, uh, the next uh, uh, lifecycle hook is uh, ng to check. So this is called on change detection. After that, uh, next component lifecycle hook is uh, ng after contained in it. So it is called uh, whenever there is a change in the content uh, projected to the view. And uh, after that, uh, next component lifecycle hook is uh, ng after content checked. So it is called uh, after the Angular checks for content projected into the component view. And the next lifecycle hook is uh, ng after view in it. So it is called after the component view is initialized. Next is uh, ng after view checked. So it is called after the view is checked. And uh, last is uh, ng destroy. So it is called when the component uh, view is destroyed. Uh, for example, you are moving away from your component so, uh, by the routing at that time. Or uh, maybe if you are using uh, ng if conditions to display your component. Uh, so that time also that ng on destroy is getting called. So this is for the one time event, but uh, this component lifecycle is uh, called on change detection also. So whenever there is a change in the input data pro property, this uh, ng on change is getting called. And after that ng do check is getting called. After that ng after content check is called. And after that ng after view check is getting called. So let's see same in the one example. So let's begin. So I am on an established uh, site. Uh, this is an online editor I'm going to use for today's example. And I'm selecting uh, Angular as a TypeScript project. So it will create uh, one Angular project for me. So this is a default project is created by StackBlitz. And uh, now I, uh, I'm going to implement uh, that lifecycle hook on this hello component. So here I can see this uh, one input property. So for now I'm going to comment this property and uh, let me remove uh, this uh, expression also from here. And uh, let's save this. And here in the component.html, uh, let me remove this name property. Now I'm going to uh, hello components and here I'm going to implement my lifecycle hook uh, interface. So let me add implements here and uh, first lifecycle hook is on change. So let me add on changes interface. After that uh, second lifecycle hook is on init. So let me add on init here. The third lifecycle hook is uh, after that is do check. So let me add do check interface. After that, uh, contain after contain in it. Then after contain checked. Then after view in it. After that, after view check. And last is on destroy. So now uh, I have added all the interface for lifecycle hook, but I need to implement all this interface. So let me use visual code intelligence. And here I can see uh, this error. So let me imp implement first uh, on change, then on init. Then do check, 
then contained in it content checked view in it view checked and last is on destroy and also as we discussed uh, that execution uh, is begin with the constructor so let me add one constructor also here so i am going to add constructor and here i am going to add one message console.log and let's give number one and let's say constructor now i am going to add uh, same message in the other lifecycle hook so let me add it quickly Now I'm going to refresh the, this browser window and uh, let's open this console here so it's getting initialized and uh, after that uh, I can see a few messages like first constructor is getting initialized and after that I can see on in it uh, do check cont after contain it after contain checked after unit and after unit checked but uh, number two is missing that is for ng on change so why it is missing because that get executed whenever there is a change in the input data bound property but uh, in the our home component uh, we don't have any changes in our input data bound property so let me add one uh, input property here so let's say and now let me use this property in my view and now go to uh, the app comp uh, component.html that is a parent for this hello and here I am going to pass this input property in my child component so let's say name equals to name now let me show this and uh, this name variable already I am having in my app component.html now let's refresh our browser window So now I can see uh, on changes also. Number one is constructor, then on change. Number three is on in it, then do check, then contain in it, and then content check, then view in it, and view checked. But now that uh, ng on destroy is still uh, not executed because that will execute when component is uh, getting destroyed. So let me uh, change our uh, HTML code to render our uh, hello component and what I'm going to do is here I'm going to add uh, one if condition uh, let me I'm going to wrap this uh, home component with uh, ng container And then I'm going to add 
ng if condition so in that uh, if condition i am saying if name equals to equals to tapan then only i am going to uh, render my hello component so now let me save this so i can see that my component is not rendered yet now i am going to add one uh, text box the type should be text and uh, i am going to use uh, two way data binding so let me add ng model here so it should be uh, like banana in the box like ng model here and let me give name as ng model so now we can see that uh, now uh, initially my name is angular 12 now i am going to change this to tapan so after changing this to tapan i can see that uh, uh, my uh, that constructor is getting initialized and after that in gon chain then on in it then do check contain in it then contain checked view in it and view checked now uh, let me clear this uh, console window and uh, let me change this tapan to something else let me add uh, one here so i can see after view checked so i guess uh, i added uh, invalid message in the log so let me fix this so hello component.ts and let's check for ng on destroy so yeah i added uh, after view check but it should be ng on destroy so let me paste it here and uh, now let's come back here now let's say tapan here so i can see that my all the eight events are getting initialized and uh, now let's clear this console and now i am going to change this to this tapan to something else so i can see that my on destroy event is getting initialized now let's understand uh, change detection the life cycle events so now uh, i am going to remove this if condition so let me remove this if condition let's save this and uh, let me clear this and now i am going to change my uh, input data bound uh, property so now name is uh, angular 12 and i am going to change this to something else so we can see that whenever i am changing it so I, uh, we can see this on change is getting initialized then to check and then after contain check then after view checked so this are the events are getting initialized for the change detection life cycle so that's all for, uh, i have for this video you can find uh, the same example link in the description block and if you like it please don't forget to subscribe thank you